the education system in Alu Beg Madrasa Muhammad ibn Sheikh Rukh ibn Temataragay, the bright star of the Timurid Empire, was born on March 22, 1394, in Hijri 19th Jamadul Yula in 796, in Sultan Ia decided to build a new madrasa at the age of 23 in 1417 instead of where the market called Timi Telpik Fershon was built by Am Ia Temer in the name of his wife Chumanoko, after discussing it with his teachers Kazizada Rumi and Geosid in Jamshid Kashi. Alubeg Madrasa consists of two floors, and there are 56 rooms in it. The first floor of the madrasa was used as a classroom, on the other hand, the second floor was a library including many unmatched various books dated from his grandparent Amir Temer's time. The students received an education on the first floor. On the second floor, they are occupied with reading books and research projects. At the entrance of the madrasa, there are two doors, the right and the left door. As a rule students of Al Beg's time entered the madrasa from the right door to achieve their aims at any time in terms of the tradition of this time. Meanwhile, a hundred students all over the world studied in the madrasa. They were divided into groups including fifteen students each. Lessons were run by high qualified teachers, Mavlong Omuk Hamid Karvofi, Kaziz Adarumi, Gia Sidin Jamshid, Muir Nidin Koshi and so on, in their field. The education in the madrasa featured three level, Alil Muladna, Alil Mulavsat, Alil Mulalia. Students learnt the Arabic language after matriculating the madrasa at the Adna level. Since all the core subjects and textbooks used during the lesson were in Arabic. Therefore the students were demanded to learn Arabic to understand what the teachers taught in the process of the lesson. In the next levels, students learnt mathematics, astrology, theology and other science disciplines. As for the subjects, in the area of Sheikh Zinda monuments in Samarkand, there was Abraham Tavgat Khan Madrasa ranked as one of the most ancient madrasas in the century 1112. In accordance with the information given by Ahmad Nezafi'i, he said he wanted to continue his study in the most ancient madrasa in the Guzar of Amir. He studied there and wrote one special core book while working there. In this book, Ahmad Nezafi gave the list including the names of 50 subjects as a reference. Clearly from that, how many subjects were learnt by the students of that time when Ahmad Nezafi lived. Achieving this level of education in the 12th century was not easy. Until the Alubeg Madrasa was opened, there were many madrasas, for example, before the Mongol invasion in 617 1220, there were 400 madrasas in Balkh, with the invasion, all of them were destroyed. When Alubeg's time came, the number of the subjects taught in madrasa reached above 70. If the student finished Il Muladna level, he was taken an exam, in a time when he passed an exam, he could continue his study in the next level, or else, he had to study from the beginning. Alubeg himself examined the student who learnt at all levels. The students who passed an exam of Alubeg successfully might take a diploma. Nowadays, the original copy of the diploma given to a student called Muhammad Shamsuddin Muhammad who studied there for 16 years during Al Ubeg's period is reserved in the Oriental University in the name of Al Biruni, and Samarkand State University in the name of Sharaf Rashidov, and the museum near the Al Ubeg's observatory in Kukak Hill. In this diploma, you can see the list of subjects taught in the madrasa. During the study in madrasa the student, who cut the class for 72 days without permission and any reason, was rubbed the list of students out like today's university laws. Besides, there was a chance to choose his lovely teachers for the students. For example, if one student wants to study mathematics at Mavlonio Kava Fai, he is given a chance what he wants. Nowadays, this education system used in Al Beg Madrasa is being used in the top universities of America and Europe. According to the Wakaf documents, Al Beg Madrasa was free from a country in terms of finances. Instead of today's Tilakari Madrasa in Registan Ensemble, there was Caravansary and its Wakaf area. The money earned from Caravansary and Wakaf area was used for the scholarship of the students and the salary of teachers and workers. At that time, the students were given scholarships in accordance with their level, 12 dirhams for Ilmu Ladna level, 
16 dirhams for Ilmu Lavsat, and 24 dirhams for Ilmu Lalia. The interesting fact is that for 1 dirham you can buy 4 grams of gold in that time. The students received education for 4 days, they were busy with research projects or self-study, Friday was all the students day off because of Juma prayer. Entering an education of madrasa, it is not an exaggeration to say that the students forgot all their problems of theirs since the madrasa was designed with moral hadith about knowledge written in Arabic had the students not remember anything. The education system in Ulubeg Madrasa Muhammad ibn Sheikh Rukib and Temataragay.